Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio are back in the news again, and it all has to do with that Mr. Beast trivia competition. So many people accuse them of cheating, and finally the TikTok sisters are hitting back at their critics. Keemstar in particular felt the brunt of their response, and we're about to break it all down for you right here on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm your host and bacon overlord, Johnny Rogers, and you're watching the number one T Spelling Entertainment news show on the internet. Before we kick this video off, if you want to see more videos just like this one, all you have to do is tap that playlist in the corner of your screen. Also, if you want to get notified whenever we post new content, you got to be a subscriber, so make sure you hit that subscribe button too. Now, thank you for the delay. Let's get right into today's story. If you recall, the D'Amelio sisters recently felt some backlash after they won the competition put on by Mr. Beast. Many were calling them out for cheating because they had each other for the calling competition, while the rest of the competitors were answering questions on their own. It wasn't long before drama channels like Keemstar began weighing in on the conversation. However, when you're as big as Keemstar is, you're bound to get some pushback from the people that you're criticizing. The bullying started out in a place where many people online felt that there was going to be some real beef between Keem and the TikTok stars. After the D'Amelio family took home the prize of $300,000, which was intended on being donated to charity, both Charlie and Dixie were bombarded with comments on their TikTok page saying that they had an unfair advantage. Mr. Beast tried to cool the tensions online and tweeted about the tournament saying, I see some people mad that I let multiple people complete on a single team in the trivia tournament. Honestly, the tournament was just for fun and to bring the community together, and I'd appreciate if you were to get mad at anyone, get mad at me. It was my decision. The criticism is noted, and I'll definitely keep all the teams the same size next time. YouTubers like Def Noodles also brought up footage where it appeared that the sisters were looking off camera before answering questions, which fueled the backlash that they were definitely cheating. Initially, both Charlie and Dixie refused to respond to any of these allegations of cheating, but Dixie did clap back at Keemstar after he tweeted, Siri, What's the answer so we can give it to our kids to make them seem smart since they are high school dropouts? Ouch. In response, Dixie uploaded a photo from her graduation to her IG stories where she said, Throwback to my graduation this year. For which Keemstar replied with, did her parents do her homework too? And not too long after that, both Charlie and Dixie appeared on a podcast where they addressed Keemstar. And then the guy that said, I didn't graduate high school. I graduated on my own. I know a lot of that stuff. And... I'm not a high school dropout. First of all, I'm 16. The first line of defense was Dixie saying that she graduated high school on her own. Then Charlie confirmed that she wasn't a high school dropout, but they ultimately said that they don't need to be defending themselves to a guy that is so bored he has to talk about them. Perhaps the funniest line though is Charlie saying, he's in his 40s and he's worried about two kids winning a trivia contest. After hearing that clip, Keemstar also wanted to address the situation and explain where he was coming from. In his video clip posted to Twitter, he said that he has actually defended them on multiple occasions and then everything he said about the Mr. Beast tournament was supposed to be all in good fun. A joke, if you will. However, the fact that so many people attack them for that, I understand why they were a little bit defensive when speaking about it. But I just seen this clip from your podcast where you're saying, yeah, you know, uh, this guy was saying that we didn't graduate it, but we actually graduated, blah, 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 blah. You're getting all defensive about it. I'm making a joke. I'm making fun of you that your parents helped you win the Mr. Beast event, right? No hate, but uh, your parents did help you cheat to win the Mr. Beast event. Stay mad. Now, since that video went up of him explaining where he was coming from, Dixie quote tweeted him saying, put a shirt on, silly goose, hashtag camo jokes. And after Keemstar joked that she was throwing shade again at his age with the dad jokes, Keem hit back with, Keep it up, Dixie, and I'm going to post a renegade TikTok and take that number one spot. Now, that's something even I'd like to see at some point. Imagine Keemstar doing the renegade. That'd be fantastic. Can we get a petition on change.org for that? I mean, I wonder if that's possible. Look, all in all, the tournament that Mr. Beast held was meant to bring together the YouTuber and influencer community for one great event, and even when a controversy arose, it still ended up bringing people together. With that, though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, TikTok star Zoe Laverne exposed for this. Epic says, oof, so she doesn't even think Think she did something wrong. What the hell? Yeah, that's a real problem when she can't even see why people are upset, and it definitely doesn't help that her mother is basically being an enabler by defending her actions. Vi T says, Whoa, Johnny, you can't come up in here with a suit without warning. My body wasn't ready. My apologies. I'll make sure to give everyone a heads up in the community post before coming in wearing a suit like that. Again, I'm sorry. Janelle Elizabeth says, Okay, Johnny in a suit is something I didn't know I needed until I saw him. Dang, you clean up nice. Well, I'm happy you all love my suit. Or perhaps I'll just start wearing them for the weekly roundups. I guess, I guess that's a good idea. It's a good place to start, maybe. Sophia Bernice says, Johnny just standing there looking like a king while I'm here sitting next to my sleeping brother looking like a potato. Well, thank you so much for that compliment, Sophia. And, and you say that like it's a bad thing. We love our potatoes. You keep being a great potato. SK04 says, Johnny, please, dear God, wear a suit at all times. <laughs> 
don't know about at all times, but I'll definitely start wearing a suit more often if you guys like it this much. Either way, that has been today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. Thank you to the most amazing team behind the scenes for all of their hard work. If you enjoyed this video, then please show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on today's story. And for more videos like this one, all you have to do is hit that playlist when it pops up. From Inform Overload, my name is Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy. Which led to the backlash that they were definitely... Which, what am I saying? Which field? The backlash? Fueled. God damn. <laughs> Put a shirt on, silly glue. <laughs> Try that again. Keems aren't doing the renegade. Keems, okay. Now I understand what, what I'm saying here. Can I go up a bit? With that though, <laughs> I'm so flubbed today. Can I go back again and just redo that sentence? <laughs> I just want to make sure I have a heart and um, gonna take it from the can we get a petition.